Lord have mercy. Star Wars Outlaws. That is, that is definitely one of the games of all time, huh? Now, I've watched a little bit of the gameplay, and I've been incredibly underwhelmed and I even had tempered expectations because well I've played Ubisoft games before none that have released in like the past five years but does that really matter because they haven't really evolved all that much since the early 2010s but even still watching the likes of Mahler play through Outlaws well the play is a very strong word in so much as glitching clipping meandering through the open and pathetic world of star wars outlaws i've got a good enough sense to know that th you couldn't pay me to play this game it looks like a waste of everybody's time and a substantive waste of everyone's brain cells but star wars outlaws creative director tries to spin disastrous launch and says millions of people aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves here are gonna play for years and years following improvements don't worry guys help is on the way it's just how can you hope that millions of mil or millions of people are going to be playing if you couldn't even get millions of people to play on launch in a declaration yeah that comes across as a massive cope by any metric following the disastrous launch of star wars outlaws the game's creative director has claimed that supposedly forthcoming improvements will turn the title into one that millions of people will play for years and years and that's the one appropriate time where i've actually seen a k or a face from k vess that is apt for a scenario being discussed that doesn't involve horrific and unfortunate cases of gigantism as anyone who has either played the game themselves or watched your favorite streamer take it for a spin can of test outlaws is less a finished title and more of a slapdash collection of playable game builds yes it's actually playable moments strung together by bug after annoying even game breaking bugs and the last bit is not an exaggeration in addition to its widely reported graphical and gameplay bugs including one that causes prot uh, protagonist k versus a character model to become unaligned from her speeder bike and another which causes the enemy ai to completely short circuit for absolutely no reason but no 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 there's actually one that was initially reported as a bug but it's not a bug it's a feature where if you stand in grass that's what shin height and no 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 i'm not talking about balan skull's apprentice you don't even know that because there's so much star wars slop out there you don't even know that i made a pun about a character but what was it asmongold in the first couple of days he had that clip go viral it's like oh my god look at this glitch right here the stormtroopers can't even find me when i'm just crouched over i'm just you know hunched over in the grass they can't see me that's not a bug it's a feature stealth is great in this game ps5 players who began yeah playing during the game's early access period were forced to completely restart yeah because yeah we fixed the game it just requires you to restart the game great fix that you have there to this end it should come as no surprise then in light of both these issues and the audience's overall exhaustion with all things disney star wars an initial and reception of outlaws has been rough to say the least but it has been bolstered by several games journalists outlets which we talked about recently with ign just blasting sites like metacritic and other review aggregators with what spain pakistan india review china reviews thrown out yeah 10 12 reviews in order to keep the game above a 70 like it's really pathetic when you take a look at the actual review score or what the general population thinks well we can just simply take a look at the stock and go oh boy um things things aren't looking good I mean, it looks hilarious on the one month but you take a look at the six months in regards to ubisoft and wow that's a that's a that's a big old drop boys 1367 and off hours back earlier this year when they were out there shilling that Assassin's Creed Shadows or I think it might have even been known as Project Red at that time you know there's a lot of hype oh there shouldn't be a Japanese Assassin's Creed oh man this is gonna be so cool it's been a long thought about concept finally recognized and then oh yeah we're just gonna stick a black guy in it and you're just gonna have to love it Japanese and oh yeah things things just really haven't come back around for ubisoft and frankly ubisoft stock price drops seven percent as company faces pressure from investors to take the company private and then just hope to save this decades long former stalwart in the industry and try to save it because yeah sales from their big budget truck yeah, i was gonna say triple a but i'm sorry quadruple a experiences this year have all failed starting off skull and bones 
what is it? It didn't even get a thousand players on Steam, and it was on sale recently at Best Buy for ten dollars. X Defiant launching, and then immediately hemorrhaging players. Star Wars Outlaws right now soft sales, and what do you think about the most derided game of the year with Shadows coming out in a couple months' time? It ain't gonna get much better from here. Ubisoft, the company behind Star Wars Outlaws, X Defiant, Assassin's Creed, and Tom Clancy Rainbow Six. Oh yeah, with old Wheels McGillicuddy, the new incoming operator. Fantastic. Saw its stock price drop 7% in a single day as it faced pressure from investors to take the company private as well as reports of soft sales from Star Wars Outlaws. Because yeah, we've heard rumors where it was, what, 200 pre-orders across a 400 chain store there was 41 i'm sorry 30 pre-orders and 40 local retailers like it was really bad okay stock price yeah fallen 1367 euros specifically seven percent in the past day according to yahoo finance the stock price has declined over 16 percent in the past five days oh, down 41 percent in the last three months and 30 percent in the last six months as in the last year the company's stock price is down over 50 percent in the past five years it has declined over over 81% Ubisoft. There was a point in time where I would look forward to, and there was chances are, if you were playing games back in the 2010s, uh, Ubisoft, you would actually be looking forward to that stuff. Like there was a point in time when they were out there, you know, they had that, actually had like a really energetic E3 presentation. Like that, oh man, what's that, what's that black lady's name? Aisha, Aisha Taylor. Yeah, she was hosting for a few years in a row. It was always cringeworthy, but it was at least cringeworthy enough where you'd pay attention to it and you'd want to tune in just to see the pathetic Just Dance segment what washed up hack they could bring on stage it was always worth it just to see what they were doing just to see what they were wasting their money on but that was back when gaming even if it was bad it was still fun because it wasn't bad ideologically they would just call you a racist sexist bigot if you didn't want to buy the game but it was like yeah if something sucked oops yeah better luck next time or oops yeah, yeah, no that was just a vertical slice it wasn't actually supposed to represent real gameplay uh first it was reported that star wars outlaw sales were performing much worse than star wars jedi survivor in the uk games industry head yes we talked about this before uh christopher a drink detailed yeah outlaws sales or launch sales are 50 or 55 percent lower than what they were for survivor 15 percent bigger then Ubisoft's uh, last game, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. You know that nearly $5 billion franchise of Avatar couldn't get anybody to buy their game. That's the Avatar phenomenon will never, ever make sense. Like, I'm sure the next one would be the fire and stick it up your ass. Like, I think that's coming out next Christmas. It'll probably make a billion dollars and everybody probably knows just as much as they know right now than they will after walking out of the cinema. Because those movies make all... All the money in the world and leave no impact it's so wild uh this data was seemingly reflected yes and we talked about this as well it debuted 25th over on ps5 and like 19th over on xbox so i guess that's a boom for the slow kids console uh, in the second week on the chart okay the game fell to 28th yeah place oof for comparison concord was 29th <laughs> oh astrobot yo shout out i've actually seen gameplay of that and bro that shit looks fun oh it looks like a traditional platform and it's been a hot second since we've had any of those pop out. I hope that game sells all the copies. But yeah, on top of what looks like poor sales, AJ Investments sent an open letter to the board of directors of Ubisoft urging the company to go private or sell to a strategic investor. In the letter, yeah, the investment firm specifically took issue with Ubisoft lowering its revenue outlook for the second quarter when Star Wars Outlaw was released. The firm wrote a recent quarterly results with which Oh, which included the postponement or postponement of key games like Rainbow Six Siege and the division into the 2025 lineup. The divi the division is still going on. That's crazy. And a lowered revenue outlook for the second quarter of 2024 have heightened our concerns about the management's ability to deliver value to its shareholders over the long term. Share price of Ubisoft have decreased by more than 40% in the last years compared to rise of its competitors and indexes. After detailing how they believe the company should be valued between 40 and $45 or, um, euros per share, rather, the firm posited that the reason it is not there is due to the current management. Oof, Ubisoft at current state is mismanaged 
managed and shareholders are hostage of a, the Guimau family members and Tencent. Oh, who take advantage of them. Oh, management is focused on pleasing investors and beating quarterly results and not focused on long-term strategy to provide exceptional experiences for gamers. Well, very much so. But hey, we have really, uh, we have really aggressive uh, marketing and uh, monetization strategies that will keep uh, gamers uh, playing for a very, very long time. And if they don't want to pay the premium to get all the content, they can sign up for $18 a month to play a bunch of old back catalog games and the crap that we shell out right now. Don't worry about it. It's great. Interestingly, the letter accuses Tencent and the Gimo family of purposely degrading the company's stock price so they can purchase shares to take full control of the company. The letter asserts, or the letter asserts, uh, we believe the Gimo family and Tencent are discounting potential value of Ubisoft in order to buy more shares at a lower valuation and eventually take full control of the company at heavily discounted valuation. We value the great work that has been done by the Gimos over the decades at the Ubisoft, or yeah, in the Ubisoft world, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but now is the time to move on and restart the business with new shareholders approach and new management slash CEO. According to the letter, the Gimo family controls more than 25% of the shares in the company and around 29.63% of the company's voting rights. Not in the majority, but a clear, substantial voting block. And you would imagine, because they've been around so long, they've got to have a considerable amount of sway in where they want to go. Well, a lot of people are going to follow because, well, hey, they've been at the helm of this for a while and we've been somewhat successful. This is just this is just a current soft period. Don't worry about that. That has lasted for five years. But it'll be interesting, man, because their, re their cash cow over the past just about 20 years at this point has been Assassin's Creed so perhaps the final straw will be the performance of Shadows and you would have to think like sh uh, Star Wars Outlaws only got a little bit of the criticism that the Black Samurai game has got this year and it had a tremendous knock-on effect it'll be very very interesting to revisit this stuff in a couple of months time and even going into 2025 and to see where ubisoft ultimately ends up i don't think they're going to be a standalone company here in the next couple of years but it's going to be a fun thing to catalog and a sad thing to catalog but the games industry is going to have to burn down before it eventually heals oh well so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone